all right volumes of pyramids cones and spheres we're going to start first with a pyramid and the volume of this pyramid is found by um oh excuse me that's i don't want to put that first okay volume of the pyramid is one third the area of the base times the height or if you want to write this a little bit different area of the base times height divided by three okay so let's just look at a basic um, a basic pyramid let's say that this is eight feet let's say this is six feet okay so this has a rectangular base and then let's say we have a height oh let's call that let's call that 10 feet so what we're going to do is we're going to find the area first so that's going to be 8 times 6 which gives us 48 and then we're going to take that times the height which is 10 and that gives us 480 and now we take the whole thing and divide it by 3 so 3 into 180 or excuse me 480 is going to be uh, 160 cubic feet okay so again take the area of the base then multiply it by the height and then take that number and divide it by three and that gives you 160 feet cubed okay now I have a cone and the volume of a cone is the same thing I'm going to go ahead and put area of base times height divided by 3. Now the base of this one, the base of a cone, is going to be a circle. Okay, so kind of a, uh, if I were to do a three-dimensional representation here, okay, that would be a circle on the bottom. And with that, they're going to need to give me a radius. Let's say that is... Um, five feet and then let's say it gives us a height of let's go with uh, 12 feet okay we need to find the area of the base area of the base is a circle so that's going to be pi r squared we have our calculators ready and so that's going to be 3.14 times 5 squared which is 3.14 times 25 punch that in real quick and that is 78.5 so that's the area of my base now I'm going to take that times my height. So 78.5 times 12. That gives me 942. And then I'm going to divide that by 3, giving me a total volume of 314 cubic feet. Okay, area of the circle on the base, pi r squared, times 12, which is the height, and then I'm going to divide that by 3, which gives me 314 cubic feet. Okay, one more to go. Let's get a sphere. Okay, we now have a sphere. Okay. And in that sphere, um, we're going to have, let's see, how can I draw this? Um, whoa, not like that.
There we go. We're going to have an area in, oops, have a little area in the middle there. Okay. And for a sphere, the volume is four thirds. Four thirds pi r squared. Okay, four thirds pi. Excuse me, four thirds pi r cubed. My mistake, overlapping too many things. All right, or how I'm going to do it is four pi r cubed divided by three. Okay, and so let's say I have a um, a radius, put a radius in here of eight inches. So I'm going to take four times 3.14 times my radius, which is eight cubed. And I'm going to take all of that and divide it by three. All right, so let's find out what eight cubed is. 8 to the third power is going to be 512, so that's going to be 4 times 3.14 times 512, all divided by 3. So let's take that. That gives me 6,430.72, all divided by 3. Scroll down just a bit. And so I come up with 2,143.57. Okay, here's the number I'm going to round to. That 7 tells me to go up. So that's going to be approximately 2,143.6 inches cubed. Okay, know which formula you're using, substitute it in, and solve 2,143.6 inches cubed. Again, that's approximate because there are decimals that go on forever, and so we just rounded to the nearest tenth. Okay, so volume of pyramids, cones, and spheres, we are all set. We'll see you in the morning.